Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing AI and machine learning in healthcare. And for this special occasion, I have brought back the A Healthcare Z t shirt. Okay, I was reading the annual report for United Health Group, and I was struck by this topic. So, in that report, which I will leave a link to in the show notes, it said that they were going to drive growth at United Health Group through AI and machine learning applied to high risk patients, uh, patients with multiple chronic diseases to partner with providers, i.e. doctors, uh, and, make, and, and hospitals, and make care more patient-centric. Okay, great, fascinating. What actually is AI, or artificial intelligence, right? So it is a, a branch of computer science that deals with software that learns and problem solves, and software that does pattern recognition. Now, as an example, there was a famous story from 2008 that I'll leave a link to in a show note where Google was actually able to predict the spread of the flu and track the, the spread of the flu across America just based on people's searching on Google for flu symptoms. In other words, people would type in like body ache, headache, fever, etc., etc., and they were able to spot where the flu was popping up even before the CDC did. Okay, so that's an example of pattern recognition using AI. Okay, next up, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Now, the key word in machine learning is the word learning. So this is where the software itself actually uses data to get better. So in other words, to a certain extent, the software itself writes its own software based on data that it gets in. So an example of that is like a self-driving car. All right, so the software actually figures it out by itself. And there's a fantastic video explanation of this by a vlogger named CGP Gray. It has over 5 million views. I'll leave a link to it in the show notes. It's very straightforward. I found it super helpful. And so one of the keys to machine learning is that we as people actually don't know how the computer did it. So if we can figure out how the computer did it, then it's probably not machine learning. But if the computer figured it out on its own and we don't know how it happened, then that's an example of machine learning. And that's why it has potentially dangerous implications. Okay, next up, natural language processing. So the key word here in natural language processing is the word language, because this is, a, again, a subset of AI where the data itself is talking. It's our language. So oftentimes we think about typing uh, things into a computer, etc. actual data. But here, the data is in the form of our speech. And that's super important in healthcare because one, doctors do dictations all the time of tons of what happens in healthcare. And two, doctor-patient interactions are done largely through speech. And so if we can actually take that speech as data to be able to analyze it, well then that's what the field of um, natural language processing deals with. Okay, so fine. So, ways that UHG could actually use AI and machine learning to quote unquote, notice that their goal is to drive growth. Okay, is to drive growth. How would you grow revenue and profits? Well, what? You could use AI and machine learning for underwriting. You could significantly improve the ability to underwrite a group using this type of technology. Next up, prior authorization. You could make prior authorization much more effective to figure out, okay, well, which things need to be prior authorized and which ones don't need to be pre-authorized and how do you pre-authorize it and when do you pre-authorize it? And you could really clamp down on utilization by applying AI and machine learning to prior authorization. Okay, next up, in the individual market. So United Healthcare is kind of, you know, somewhat famous for like not really entering into the individual market very much. But you could use AI and machine learning to be like, okay, well, where are, you know, where, how can I set premiums? How are the claims expenses going? And then I can cherry pick the individual market using AI and machine learning to improve revenue and improve profitability. Okay, now, here is my challenge with the specific motivation for UHG to use AI machine learning for high-risk patients, multiple chronic diseases, partnered with providers, and patient-centric care. And it goes to yesterday's video. And that is, all of this could create the ability to do all these things, but to actually carry out and implement and execute on improved health care and improved health, it requires behavior modification on the part of the patient, and behavior modification on the part of the doctor, and behavior modification on the other uh, caregivers, like the nurses and the speech therapists and the physical therapists at the hospital. And so, given the low degree of credibility that health insurance companies have with patients, I'm not sure that these initiatives will be successful until that credibility problem is solved. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.